new surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Puffy might be the destination for anybody going nowhere. He's not wrong. Y'all... Nobody survived. Jay-Z. Good business. Get- I look and I go, oh. Uh, she be gone. 50 Cent has finally spoken on Diddy and Cassie's recently leaked surveillance footage, and according to Word on the Street, Jay-Z might benefit from the legal battle that Diddy might soon be facing due to the video. So, what exactly did Fifth say? On Friday, May 17th, 50 Cent hit up Instagram with an immediate response to the incredibly disturbing surveillance video obtained by CNN, which finds Diddy violently assaulting his former girlfriend Cassie. 50, who has been consistently calling out Diddy since the moment Cassie slapped the defamed hip-hop exec with claims of abuse and SA in November of 2023, shared a portion of the video along with a caption of what he believes Puff's representatives will have to say about the clip. Now I'm sure Puffy didn't do it, he is innocent, this proves nothing, 50 Cent sarcastically wrote in the IG post below. This is what his lawyers are gonna say, God help us all. 50 Cent's reaction was swiftly met with further responses from rappers like DJ Quick and Fifth's longtime friend and fellow G-Unit member Tony Yayo. While Yayo simply replied, crazy, Quick referred directly to Diddy's violent actions with, me caveman. About one hour later on Friday, 50 Cent doubled down on his commentary regarding the disturbing assault footage. The lie detector test has determined this was a lie. Maury vibes. 50 wrote along with a screenshot of the official statement Diddy released back in December of 2023 regarding Cassie's allegations. For context, the security video aired by CNN appears to show Sean Diddy Combs attacking singer Cassie in a Los Angeles hotel hallway in 2016, the latest in a months-long series of public allegations and revelations of physical and S violence from the hip-hop mogul. The video aired Friday appears to show Combs wearing only a white towel, punching and kicking the R&B singer who was his protege and longtime girlfriend at the time. The footage also shows Combs shoving and dragging Cassie and throwing a vase in her her direction. The security camera video dated March 5, 2016, closely resembles the description of an incident at an intercontinental hotel in the Century City area of Los Angeles, described in a November lawsuit filed by Cassie, whose legal name is Cassandra Ventura, that alleged years of SA and other violence by Combs. The lawsuit alleges that Combs paid the hotel $50,000 for the security video. CNN did not say how it obtained the video, but noted that it verified the location, comparing it to publicly available images of the Intercontinental Hotel. Cassie's lawsuit was settled the day after it was filed, but spurred intense scrutiny of Combs, with several more lawsuits filed in the following months, along with a federal criminal ST investigation that led authorities to raid Combs's mansions in Los Angeles and Miami. Representatives for Combs did not immediately comment on the video, but he has previously denied the allegations in the lawsuits, and his lawyers have said he denies any wrongdoing and will fight to prove his innocence. The Los Angeles District Attorney's Office said it was aware of the disturbing video allegedly depicting Combs assaulting a woman in Los Angeles, but it had not been presented with a case. And even if law enforcement presents a case to the office, the statute of limitations would prevent prosecutors from charging Combs, the office said in a statement Friday. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of assault can be prosecuted, the office said. We encourage anyone who has been a victim or witness to a crime to report it to law enforcement or reach out to our office for support from our Bureau of Victim Services, it added. The gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs, said Douglas Wigdor, an attorney for Cassie who has filed other other lawsuits against Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Miss Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The Associated Press does not typically name people who say they have been essayed unless they come forward publicly as Ventura has. According to the lawsuit, Combs earlier in the evening became extremely intoxicated and punched Ventura, giving her a black eye. After he fell asleep, she tried to leave, the suit says. This is apparently where the video begins. 
Ventura can be seen heading to a bank of elevators with a packed bag. Then Combs awoke and began screaming at her, following her down the hall, the suit said. He violently grabs her and yanks her to the ground, kicks her, and throws vases in her direction in the video. The lawsuit says she managed to get away, but later returned out of fear that she would face greater abuse if she didn't. As she returned, hotel staff urged her to go back to her apartment, the suit says. She would flee and hide out with a friend in Florida. The lawsuit alleges Combs paid the hotel $50,000 for the security video. The video's release comes as Combs and his legal team had begun to push back against the allegations that had come in a steady stream since November. They recently filed motions to dismiss parts of a lawsuit alleging he essayed a woman in 1991 and to dismiss all of a lawsuit alleging that he and two other men essayed a 17-year-old lady in 2003. The court filings called both sets of allegations false. In any case, the implications of this video are profound and far-reaching. Firstly, it serves as a stark, undeniable piece of evidence of Diddy's abusive behavior, making it significantly harder for him to evade legal consequences. While accusations of S.A. had previously surfaced, the presence of a concrete, visual account of his violence against Cassie paints a grim picture that is difficult to refute or minimize. In the court of public opinion and the legal arena, this video could be the critical factor that shifts the narrative definitively against him. Moreover, this incident represents a tipping point, both for Diddy's career and his personal freedom. In the past, celebrities with similar accusations have managed to navigate the treacherous waters of scandal through legal maneuvers, settlements, or leveraging their influence. However, the gravity of this visual evidence, coupled with the cumulative weight of ongoing essay allegations, suggests that Diddy might not escape unscathed this time. The release of this video could mark the end of his long-standing ability to elude serious repercussions. It could trigger a cascade of legal actions, including potential jail time. Anyway, while all this is happening, there is a question that the majority of fans have been asking. Who is releasing these videos to the press? Well, some people are convinced that it is Jay-Z. In case you don't remember, Jay was suspected of doing the same to convicted singer R. Kelly. For context, in the wake of his sentencing to 30 years in prison for STF ficking and racketeering, disgraced rapper R. Kelly recently filed an appeal in his New York federal S. Crimes case. Documents obtained by TMZ revealed that the 56-year-old artist had put forth multiple arguments in his bid to overturn his conviction, ranging from assertions of a potentially biased jury to claims of being misled about the ages of the minors he had relationships with. The appeal, filed by his attorney Jennifer Bonjon, sought to have the convictions reversed or to secure a new trial. Kelly's legal team contended that the government had failed to meet its burden of proof during the trial, despite the jury finding him guilty on all counts following nearly six weeks of proceedings. A key point in Kelly's appeal was the allegation that at least two jurors had watched Surviving R. Kelly, a documentary released in 2019 which featured accounts from his accusers. His lawyers argued that this documentary, funded by Jay-Z and allegedly provided to the jurors, could have biased their judgment, especially given Kelly's legal history with Jay-Z. Moreover, Kelly disputed the ages of the ladies involved, claiming that some were at least 18 years old when their interactions with him began. His legal team asserted that in cases where the girls were minors, Kelly had been misled about their ages. Kelly's defense also contested the admissibility of certain evidence presented during the trial, arguing that irrelevant details about his personal life unfairly influenced the jury. They maintained that discussions about his S history, preferences, and past relationships were prejudicial and unrelated to the charges he faced. Additionally, Kelly raised objections to the testimony provided by his former associates, alleging that they had misrepresented facts and testified on matters beyond their knowledge. In light of all this, fans are convinced that Jay-Z, one of the most influential figures in the music industry, stands to gain significantly from Diddy's potential downfall, both in terms of reputation and business opportunities. Firstly, Jay-Z's reputation management strategy can benefit immensely from Diddy's predicament. In the court of public opinion, guilt by association can be damaging. Jay-Z, who has been linked to both Diddy and R. Kelly in various professional capacities in the past, understands the necessity of a clean image, especially in today's climate where allegations of abuse and misconduct are taken very seriously. By distancing himself from Diddy and letting the latter become the focal point of public outrage, Jay-Z can effectively deflect any residual scrutiny that might come his way. 
Ensuring that Diddy and R. Kelly are both sidelined by their legal issues serves as a protective buffer for Jay-Z, helping to insulate him from the negative fallout. From a business perspective, Diddy's potential incarceration opens up a wealth of opportunities for Jay-Z. Historically, Diddy has been one of Jay-Z's main competitors in the music and entertainment industry. Both have built vast empires, leveraging their influence to branch out into various business ventures, from record labels and fashion lines to alcohol brands and streaming services. With Diddy potentially out of the picture, Jay-Z could see a clear path to expanding his own enterprises without the same level of competition. One of the most direct benefits would be in the realm of music and entertainment. Diddy's Bad Boy Records has been a formidable force, rivaling Jay-Z's Rock Nation. Without Diddy's active presence, Jay-Z can attract top talent who might have otherwise signed with Bad Boy. This could enhance Rock Nation's roster, further consolidating Jay-Z's dominance in the industry. Moreover, Diddy's absence could allow Jay-Z to capitalize on various business ventures where the two have previously competed. Take, for example, the alcohol industry, where Diddy's Ciroc Vodka has been a significant player. Jay-Z's own ventures, like his ownership stake in Armand de Brignac, Ace of Spades Champagne, could benefit from the decreased competition. With Diddy unable to actively promote and manage his brand, Jay-Z has an opportunity to capture a larger market share. The same applies to other ventures such as clothing lines and media companies. Diddy's Sean John brand has been a staple in hip-hop fashion, but with its founder embroiled in legal battles, the brand's influence could wane. Jay-Z's Rokaware, though less prominent in recent years, could see a resurgence as it fills the void left by Sean John's decline. Furthermore, Jay-Z's influence within the industry can grow as he positions himself as the undisputed leader of hip-hop's business moguls. This is not just about financial gain, it's also about legacy. With Diddy potentially facing a tarnished legacy due to his legal issues, Jay-Z can emerge as a more respectable and influential figure in the music and business worlds. This enhanced status can lead to more significant partnerships, better deals, and increased respect from peers and fans alike. Finally, public perception plays a crucial role. Jay-Z has carefully curated his image over the years, balancing his origins in rap with his evolution into a businessman and philanthropist. The downfall of his rival provides him with a unique opportunity to further distance himself from the controversies of the past and present himself as a paragon of success and resilience. By staying clear of the scandal and possibly even making public statements condemning abuse, he can enhance his public image and align himself with positive social movements. All in all, while Diddy's legal trouble mark a significant personal and professional downfall for him, they simultaneously present a strategic opportunity for Jay-Z. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.